Want to know how we help keep our water clean? IISD Experimental Lakes Area, or IISD ELA, studies the impacts of human activity on our environment. Only we don't conduct our experiments in a lab. We conduct them on entire ecosystems. IISD ELA is a collection of 58 lakes in northwestern Ontario, Canada, set aside for scientific research. It's the only lab of its kind in the world. Because all life depends on water, we study the impacts of contaminants. Evidence from real-world ecosystem experiments help governments make better decisions and help protect our water and planet. Here are some of the things we research. Mercury. Mercury is a naturally occurring element found in low concentrations in soil. It's also a waste byproduct of coal burning, mining, smelting, oil refining, and cement production. In high concentrations, mercury can be poisonous to the nervous system. How does it get in our water? Mercury exists in many forms, but is often released into the atmosphere as inorganic mercury by industrial emissions. Mercury falls in rain onto land, lakes, and rivers, where it may be converted by bacteria to methylmercury, a highly toxic form that can build up in humans and animals. Why is it an issue? Methylmercury is taken up by bacteria and algae, which are then eaten by zooplankton and other invertebrates, and in turn, small fish, which are eaten by larger predator fish. Methylmercury concentrations increase with each step up the food web in a process called biomagnification. The highest concentrations occur in large fish, birds, and mammals like us. Humans are mostly exposed to mercury from eating contaminated fish. This shouldn't prevent people from eating fish, as it's one of the healthiest sources of protein. In areas where mercury contamination may be high, it's best to avoid eating larger and older fish. How do we know? Each year for seven years, researchers at IISD ELA added one-sixth of a teaspoon of inorganic mercury to a lake and the surrounding landscape to mimic mercury in rain. Unique forms of mercury that could be detected with specialized equipment were added directly to the lake by boat and to the nearby forest and wetland by plane. This allowed scientists to distinguish the new mercury from the naturally occurring mercury and allowed researchers to determine which kind affected which parts of the ecosystem. What we found Mercury added directly to the lake resulted in rapid increases of methylmercury concentrations in fish and other aquatic life. Mercury added by the crop duster plane to the surrounding area took longer to accumulate in the lake. This suggests that mercury falling in rain directly on the lake will have an immediate impact, but mercury entering it from runoff may remain for years to come. When mercury was no longer directly added to the lake, methylmercury levels in small fish declined by 80% within four years. These results provide strong evidence for limiting mercury emissions. What was done? Canada and the United States have both proposed new laws to reduce mercury emissions from coal-fired power plants with the goal of reducing methylmercury in fish. By reducing mercury emissions, we reduce methylmercury concentrations in our lakes and in our food. Research at IISD Experimental Lakes Area helps us understand the effects humans have on the environment, enabling us to take meaningful action and make better decisions, keeping our water and ecosystems clean and healthy. To find out more, visit IISD.org ELA.